In this video, we will explore how to make PET filament from plastic bottles. Here are the major components used for building the machine. Here are some 3D printed parts which will support our DC motor and a 3D printed spool for winding filament after extrusion. This is the REX C100 temperature controller. It comes with locking mechanism and a terminal at the rear. I have made 3D printed holder for the same. This is the assembly which can be mounted with nut bolt on the base surface. Here is the solid state relay SSR25DD and PC PWM speed controller. Here are the parts needed for extruding PET filament. This can be made from any spare or unused extruder nozzle assembly set. I have removed heating block and made additional hole for holding K-type thermocouple. I have made hole of 2mm diameter at the bottom side of the nozzle. I also tried making a nozzle set with 1.5mm diameter for extruding. This nozzle has 1.5mm hole at the bottom. You can also drill 3 to 4mm hole on the other side from where the strip enters the nozzle as shown in the video up to half the length of nozzle. This is normal angle bracket which is machined and drilled to house nozzle. Here is the assembly of heater, temperature sensor and nozzle mount. I have made simple base from plywood. Now let's assemble all the electronics and part on the wooden base. Here is the circuit diagram I have used for connection. This is inspired by Creative 3DP.
Now let's prepare bottle by heating slightly to make the surface smooth and even so that strips made are of uniform length. After water bottle is ready, it's time to make strips. This is my first design where cutter is mounted directly on the top and can be screwed on the 3D printed parts. Here I made another variation where cutter can be mounted without need for screwing and slightly smaller in length. This was heat and mesh type cutter as sometimes it worked very smoothly and other time bottle was bent and not cutting properly. Sometimes some weight was needed on the top for smooth cutting. Then we made this simple arrangement using just washers and made a hole on the bottle cap so that bottle does not move sideways. This design is very simple and working very smoothly as expected. So we decided to 3D print the same to get a uniform 10mm strip and road used to support bottle was bent slightly by inclined drilling so bottle remains in place here is the final assembly of the machine Now see the result with new bottle stripper. Then I also tried feeding filament directly to the extruder which also worked very fine. This is the filament made from PET bottle. I am making 20 mm calibration cube without changing any setting except for the nozzle and bed temperature on my Ender 3 V2 with dual gear extruder. As you can see, the cube is less dense as compared to what it should be. This is due to under extrusion. The filament I used was extruded from 1.5 mm nozzle. As you can see the filament made this way is slightly hollow inside which must be compensated by increasing flow rate of the nozzle. We made another strips from the bottle and marked with black marker pen to see some colorful print.
I am using Prusa slicer. I have selected generic PET bottle profile which I have used earlier. Go to the filament setting and under extruder multiplier I have selected 2. This value can vary from machine to machine and I have set nozzle temperature to 250 degrees Celsius and bed temperature is 70 degrees Celsius. This is the cube after modifying extrusion rate and nozzle temperature. The print came out very nice, a lot better than I expected. I was really surprised with the results. While I was watching others video on PET machine, I didn't believe prints can be of such a good quality. Then I again printed our famous Benchy. Now tell me in the comments what do you think about the print quality. Then I made another PET filament marked with red marker pen and also printed this awesome articulated shark. See the color. This seems orange in color in the video due to lighting and camera but it's slightly pinkish in color actually. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Please like, share and consider subscribing the channel if you find it useful and wish to see more content like this. Thanks for watching.